so we will analyze some sentences using ser and then we'll compare it with estar okay we'll look at okay. the differences with estar so the first conjugation for ser i am would be yo soy yep yo soy for verb ser you will use things that are not likely to change in state. Whereas okay. for verb estar, you will use it when things are likely to change. For example, being happy, being sad, being confused, being tired. All those are temporary things. You cannot be tired forever, right? <laughs> you cannot be confused forever, right? It, it's not um, a permanent state. It's a, it's a state that is likely to change or to follow a cycle, right? If you want to say who you are, which one would you use? Estar or ser? Ser. Exactly. So if you say your name, for example, if you want to say, Oh, I am Cristobal. How would you say it? Soy Cristobal. Soy Cristobal. Exactly. Now, how do you say engineer? Engineer. Normally, in English, if you say, I am an engineer, you would use that an engineer, right? Well, that doesn't happen in Spanish. In, in Spanish, you actually say, I am engineer. How would you say it? Soy ingeniero. Soy ingeniero. Perfect. Soy, Soy ingeniero. Soy ingen ingeniero. Right. Even though it's a title of an occupation, you still use soy, I guess, hey? Yes, the thing is, if you can stop being an engineer and do something else, but it is still a, it's not a cycle. It's there's no cycle where you're an engineer and then you're not, and then you're an engineer and then you're not. But when in you're this economy, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I mean, in normal terms, it shouldn't be like that, right? There's no yeah. cycle. There's no expectation of cycle when it's on and off, right? Uh, when you that's when you use a start. When things are on and off, on off, on off, uh, then you use a star. But when it's expected to be permanent, um, even if it can change, so okay, whenever okay. you don't have a cycle, when things are permanent or not likely to change, you will use ser. So, soy ingeniero. So, how would you say, I am not an engineer? No soy ingeniero. No soy ingeniero. Very well. Filosofo. Philosopher. Yes, philosopher means philosopher. I am not an engineer, I'm a philosopher. No soy ingeniero, soy philosopher. Exactly. If you speak about your height, would you say that your height is cyclic or permanent? No, no, because it never returns to a previous state. Exactly. So, would if you say, I am tall, tall, by the way, is alto, that is tall. Yep. So, if you want to say, I am tall, how would you say it? Soy alto. <laughs> right, perfect. Soy alto. How about, I'm not tall? No soy alto. How do you say very? Muy. Muy. I am not very tall. No soy muy alto. Perfecto, perfecto. No, no soy, soy muy alto. alto. Punctual. Punctual. Puntual. 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 Right. If you're a punctual person, that's not a cycling thing, right? If you were cycling, then you're not punctual. <laughs> exactly. So how would you say, I am punctual, I am punctual? Soy puntual. Soy puntual. Now, Soy puntual. the word for person is persona, persona. Now, this is a feminine noun. So how would you say a person? Una persona. Una persona. Una persona. persona. Now... In, in English, you would say a punctual person and you're placing the adjective before the noun, punctual person. But in Spanish, we do the opposite. In Spanish, you would say, I am a person punctual. So how would you say, I am a punctual person? Soy una persona puntual. Perfecto. Soy una persona puntual.